Today, we're going to create a brand new report through the use of the Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 Report Wizard. To begin, I go under Workplace and Reports, and I simply click on the New button. This is going to launch the Report Creation window. Let's wait for that to load. So we're going to leave the report type at Report Wizard. As you can see, we have a couple other options here, but we'll cover those in a later lesson. So to begin, I click on Report Wizard. And this, of course, will launch our Report Wizard. I'm going to go ahead and leave this at Start a New Report. Now, we can use the same wizard to modify a report that was created through the Report Wizard, but this is our first report, so we'll stick with the, the top radio button. I'll click Next. And I'll give a report a name. In this case, I'm going to call it Contacts by City and State. There we are. And I'll change the primary record type to Contact. We'll keep this first example very basic, so we won't worry about any sort of related record types at this point. I'll click Next. And on this screen, we're going to deal with our filter criteria. Now, in this situation, we're not going to worry about filtering anything out just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click Clear here, and then click Next. We're going to add two groupings to this report. We're going to group it by city and state. So I'm going to click on the button up here that says Click Here to Add a Grouping, which, of course, then allows me, allows me to select a, an attribute or a field that's part of my primary record. I'm going to go ahead and select City. So I'm going to scroll up here a little ways. Now, in the case of a contact, it's called the address one city. I'll do a summary type of count, because I want to count the number of uh, contacts I have by city and state. So there we have city, and I'll click here again, and we'll add state. Oops, got to scroll up here a little ways. There we go. And I'll do count again. Now in this situation, you'll see that I have my first grouping is city and then state, which really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, because what I want to see is all those contacts from Washington and North Dakota and Ontario and so on, and then by city within each state or province. So I'm going to highlight the address one state province, click under my common tasks, and click on the up green arrow, which moves my grouping up one level, and then I'll add a couple columns. And in this situation, I'm just going to add the, the full name of the contact, and then I'll add the email address, maybe a business phone number. There we go. And then finally, I'll add a business phone number. Now, as you can see, to add a column, I'm just simply clicking on those little rectangular boxes within the body of that table. So we're going to find business phone number here. There it is. And I'll click OK. Now, I can move these around as well simply by clicking on these green arrows and move things left and right. But for the time being, this meets my needs. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Now, because my, uh, my data that I'm actually analyzing in this situation doesn't have any um, numerical values, so to speak, um, I'm not going to have the option here to select a chart or a table. If, for example, I was using sales opportunities as my primary entity, well, in that scenario, then I might be able to actually uh, do some sort of aggregation based off the estimated revenue, for example. But in this situation, we'll keep it just as a table only. And I'll click Next, click Next again, and then click Finish. And this is actually going to complete the report creation for me. And once it's all said and done, and once it finishes creating, which will take a couple moments here, it should refresh, there it is. Now I can click Run Report, and I'll get a chance to take a look at what does my report look like that I've just created. So I click Run Report. and then it's going to render it for me. And with great anticipation we wait. And here we'll see we have our report, which is going to group it by simply by contacts, by state, and then by city. There we go. Here we can see state of Washington, we have 14. In the city of Issaquah, we have three contacts, Monroe, two, and so on. Now, the nice thing about creating reports through the Report Wizard is that it also allows me to drill directly into them. So if I wanted to drill into Brian LeMay, 
I can click on Brian's record in my report, and then I'll open up his record directly within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Here it comes. All right. And there we have Brian's record that is now rendered for us. And simply, we got there simply by running that report. So in our scenario today, we took, we took a very basic, a very simple report scenario and showed you how you can actually utilize the out-of-the-box report wizard to meet some very basic reporting needs. Now, obviously, there's a few other things we can do with these reports and you know, add charts and so on, and even add some related entities to this. But I think it certainly illustrates for the sort of introductory report writer that you can do these things without having to know any SQL queries or anything that's sort of technically, technical in nature. The one caveat to creating reports to the report writer is that, is that it is incumbent upon the person writing the report that they actually understand the data structure of their, of their environment. So it's important to know, you know the, uh, the relationships between the different entities within the application and the different attributes and what they're called. But that's a different day and a different lesson. For now, I want to thank you for your time and hope you guys all have a great day.